Being diagnosed with diabetes can bring on a whole roller coaster of emotions, but one thing you don't have to worry about is what to eat. We have you covered. Meal planning and meal prep can go a long way to make healthy eating easier during the busy week, and the meal prep muffin tin egg recipe we're gonna make today is one of my favorites to make. These muffin tin omelets are so great because you can make a batch at the beginning of the week, grab them from the fridge for breakfast or snacks, and they're so delicious. So to start, we need to whisk some eggs together and we're gonna use eight eggs here. So eggs, as we all know, are a great protein source. Protein is really important for everyone, but especially for people with diabetes because protein digests slowly, which means our blood sugars will stay more stable after a meal. So a single egg delivers six grams of protein per serving, and you're wanting to get a few servings of protein on each meal to give you that nice satisfaction that you want at the end of a meal. Any scrambled egg, you need a little milk in here. So we're just gonna use a quarter teaspoon of salt here. So people with diabetes need to be aware of how much salt they're eating in addition to saturated fat. Those two nutrients are important because they matter to our heart. And people with diabetes are at a higher risk for heart-related complications. And then a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and we can start whisking away. All right, so some chives are gonna add some nice fresh flavor and we need about a quarter of a cup. If you don't like chives, if you don't have chives, you can add some cilantro or scallions or even dried herbs and spices, which are nice and convenient pantry staples. Push the chives out of the way here. Make room for a muffin cup. We're gonna spray these with a little nonstick cooking spray so they release easily. And if you haven't already, preheat your oven to 325. Okay, so here's the trick. Rather than adding all of your mix-ins into your eggs and then trying to pour it all out evenly, a better way of doing this is just to divide your ingredients evenly throughout the muffin cups. And this is also a stage where you could do three of one flavor, three of another, half and half, really whatever your heart desires. I'm gonna start with some broccoli. We're just gonna evenly distribute this throughout our muffin tin. Next up, ham. So ham, we know it has some lovely saltiness to it. We're just gonna use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way to add so much flavor. This ham also helps to add some protein as well. So you're gonna get a really nice, satisfying breakfast out of this. Now we move on to our cheese, which also adds a little bit of saltiness. So we really tested this recipe many times so that we had just the right amount of saltiness without being too much for people with diabetes. So this is where the measuring cup comes in handy because you can pour directly out of here. So we're just gonna evenly distribute this egg mixture throughout. Don't fill it to the very, very top because these eggs really do fluff up and expand once in the oven. Okay, last step here is adding some chives on top for some color and flavor. All set to go into the oven, 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. Ooh, here we are, 20 minutes in the oven and they are ready. We're gonna wait for these egg muffins to cool off a little bit and then you can either pop them in one big meal prep container to go in the fridge or portion them out separately. So really all you have to do in the morning is grab your bag and go. Now this is what a healthy day of eating for a diabetes friendly diet looks like. We have our meal prepped muffin tin eggs and a whole day of delicious eats. I'm gonna dish out breakfast. All it needs to do is be heated up and then enjoyed. So for breakfast, we have these delicious muffin tin eggs. One serving is two muffins. And then pairing this with a piece of fruit like a high fiber pear or apple is a great way to add some more sustainability to your meal. So this meal plan is set to 1500 calories. So for your morning snack, you have a nice large handful of almonds. Almonds are high in heart healthy fat. Fat is what is satisfying and sustaining, so that's gonna help carry you through to lunch. Here we have spinach, strawberries, or whatever fruit you'd like, chicken, feta, and some walnuts, a nice balanced meal paired with a herby balsamic dressing. It's really delicious, and all your coworkers will be jealous. For your afternoon snack, grab something easy like an apple. Now for dinner, we have a delicious stuffed baked potato. I love baked potatoes. You can add whatever toppings you want. Here we have some pico de gallo, some avocado, some fresh cilantro. So registered dietitians build all of our meal plans. And when we were building this meal plan, we made sure that each meal and snack were balanced for carbs. If you're newly diagnosed with diabetes, your doctor or dietitian might suggest eating a certain amount of carbs at each meal and snack. And we we already did that work for you in this meal plan. 
Each meal comes in between 45 and 60 grams of carbs per serving, and each snack comes in between 15 and 30 grams of carbs per serving, but you can adapt that to whatever you need. So to reheat your egg muffins, pop them in the microwave for about 30 seconds and they'll come out nice and steamy. I'm ready to dig in. The broccoli, the cheese, the ham, it's a delicious combo. I love these so much, they're so good. So simple, so easy to make, and delicious. All they need is 20 minutes in the oven and then you have a whole week's worth of breakfast ready to go. Thanks so much for watching, happy cooking, and I'll see you next time on Prep School.